in Gulf Shores now, one eyewitness spotted men emerging from the woods with burlap sacks, and they reported that to police. Certainly it was an odd sight to be sure, but police say it was what was in those sacks that was even stranger. Hundreds of pounds of berries from palmetto palm trees. WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams has this story from the Baldwin County Beat. Who knew that palmetto berries were such a hot commodity? Well, illegally picking them landed four people from Florida in some hot water here in Gulf Shores. What Kayla Stull saw on her way to dinner Wednesday was enough to make her uneasy to say the least. We see one guy hooking a bag over his shoulder with something, it was a white bag, and then um, another guy like dove in the back of his truck, shut it really quick. That was enough to spark a call to police who spotted the truck and pulled it over. Inside that vehicle, they located approximately 18 bags that contained a, a, a palmetto berry. Four suspects were arrested, but not charged with any berry offense, but with possession of marijuana. They had come here to harvest the berries and then transport them back to the state of Florida where they'd be sold. This is the second berry heist in the last week in Gulf Shores. A call for a reckless driver resulted in what looked like a clown car opening up with 30 bags of the berries confiscated, more than half a dozen people escaping into the night. I absolutely have never seen anything like this before. The berry is used as a dietary supplement to treat everything from urinary symptoms to hair loss and is illegal to harvest in Florida without a permit and can sell for up to $10 a pound. I thought it was like actual drugs in bags. For Kayla Stahl, so far the vacation's been quite an adventure. <laughs> Weird, never heard of it. Never heard of like illegal drug or berry picking ever. Yeah. While catching the thieves red handed may make for a great vacation story, there won't be any legal ramifications as far as the berries are concerned. There will be, however, for the possession of marijuana and possibly trespassing. On the Baldwin County Beat, in Gulf Shores, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.